Hey everybody, so a few months back, the wonderfully creative people at MyApps sent me a Capsule 360 to take my time-lapse game to the next level, which is adding a panning movement to my time-lapses. And even more recently, they have sent me an L bracket accompanied with another Capsule 360 to add tilt movement to my time-lapse videos. So it'll basically get your time-lapses looking from something like this. To something like this. So now that we've seen what the capsule can do in regards to movement in our time lapses, let's see what's in the boxes. So, box number one, our first capsule. The same in box number two, another capsule we do need two capsules for this movement and then finally the most important piece as well is the L bracket which comes with about six or seven pieces let's get this thing open so we got the main bracket the plate for the camera and then two other brackets and other connection points so we're just going to put this together quickly and see what's up so first things first, we put the first capsule on a tripod. Then we take the thicker rounded piece from the L bracket box and we use one of the adapters So, so for this. So we screw that little thread adapter onto the capsule and then we screw on the first rounded piece. Next we take the first L which is the bigger one, and affix that to that piece with the screw provided. Then we take our second capsule and put an additional threaded adapter into the bottom of the capsule, and then take the second screw and mount the capsule to the top of that first L piece. Next, we take the thinner of the rounded pieces and screw that onto the second capsule. Then we take the final L piece and affix that to our second capsule and bracket. And then we take the slider plate and mount that onto our camera. Finally, we put it onto the L bracket. And when you're doing this, make sure that the camera is well balanced from front to back. So if you have a really heavy lens on the front of your camera body, make sure that you're just trying to find the center of balance for the camera. Because if you have a heavy lens and the camera is too far forward on the L bracket, it's going to have a bit of trouble tilting upwards. Tilting downwards will be no trouble because of gravity and such. But the motor on the tilt capsule will have a bit of trouble so you want to just find a sweet spot for your camera lens combo just so that it doesn't have any trouble um, moving upwards and then finally we can connect the camera to the L bracket with the cable provided and then finally we can turn on our two capsules and we can head over and start dialing in our parameters and getting our time lapse set up. So now that the camera is set up on the L bracket, let's look at how this thing moves. Using the Capsule 360 phone app, you can set your start and finish points. So if we wanted to start over on this side, let's say, we come all the way over, and then we select next on our app, and then we select our finish point. Click finish and then it will return to the start point and you can set your parameters for your time lapse so two second exposure and interval of two seconds and you can select the play time which you can adjust via the phone app and it controls everything is controlled by one cable which is really really cool because you don't have to have a bunch of cables hanging off your camera now using the capsule 360 app 
we can connect our pan and tilt heads and connect to the camera. Then we can go into long exposure time lapse mode, which is my favorite one. We can set our exposure time and also set that on the camera as well to the same length and set the frames per second. And we can send our interval, which is the distance between each photo and the play time, which is the length of the clip. Then we can set our movement by using these cursors. Also use the live view mode on your camera to see, to compose and see where it's going to start and finish. And when you click next, then you can see up in the right hand corner that the pan and tilt parameters are being set. Hit finish and it'll return to the home position. And then you can start the time lapse and the app and capsules will take over the rest. And there's a bunch of other different modes like basic time lapse mode, bulb ramping, and interval ramping. And a few other modes that you can use, I just haven't gotten around to using them myself just yet. So, what can I say about the capsule 360 and L bracket? Well, before we look at the L bracket, let's have a look at the Capsule 360 as a standalone device. Um, this is a great little addition to anybody's camera bag who's looking to up their time-lapse photography game. It's small, it's easy to connect to your camera, and the app is very intuitive. Uh, it adds that extra bit of movement and gets you away from those stationary time-lapse videos that we see time and time again. Now onto the L bracket, again, Adding tilt to your movements in your time lapses is also an amazing uh, addition to your videos. The fact like this is like, look at the size of it. It's pretty compact, only, again, only needs one cable as both capsules can recognize when they're both turned on and it comes up in the app on the phone quite easily. So just one cable to your camera and the L bracket with the two capsule modules and you're good to go. It's portable, it's light, it's user friendly and it's resilient. It's very well built and definitely something that I would recommend anybody having in their camera bag if they're looking for a small, portable, lightweight rig to walk around with. A couple of little tips. If you can put this on a ball head rather than sit your the L bracket directly on this capsule, it gives you a little bit more freedom. I currently don't have an available ball head because I've got two cameras set up. So both of them are using my ball heads. But you can basically put the ball head between the capsule and this piece here. And then that gives you more freedom to move it and level it out and get your composition a lot easier. Because if it's sitting on this, you're going to find you might have to actually adjust your tripod legs to get it sitting level. Um, also, because of the way everything is orientated on it and it's you know the camera's offset you might like the, the nights when you shoot or the days when you shoot the less wind there is it's better because if it's windy you're going to find that if you're shooting long exposure time lapses that you might get some blur so that's definitely something to consider so in closing this is definitely something that i'd recommend to have in your camera bag if you're looking for that uh, portable and compact easy to use time-lapse rig you know like sliders and pan tilting heads can be pretty expensive and this is definitely more affordable than other brands and I would definitely recommend it if you want to up your game for your time-lapse photography so until next time see you later